Yo, 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 what's going on out the fight? What is your boy Money back with another one, fam? And this one here is on arguably the greatest fight of all time, Floyd Money Mayweather, the five division world champion, a man that went 50 and 0, made a billion dollars in the sport that helped revolutionize the boxing game and took it out of promoter's hands and put it into the fighter's hands. Now he is a promoter for Mayweather Promotions. Then we have a future Hall of Famer, Javante Tank Davis, that killer that got out of Baltimore, the three division world champion. We all know Tank is the hottest face in boxing he's trying to become the face of boxing you know what i mean but we all know javante tank davis that end up getting kicked out of the floyd mayweather gym right well let me not say get kicked out floyd mayweather end up kicking javante tank davis out of his gym you understand what i'm saying on some hatred shit being a hater right and then we seen floyd and um tank sit down at the benavidez fight you know hashing it out you know, I'm quite sure Floyd was trying to tell him, you know, the reason why he did and things of that nature. And then, you know, he probably tried to let him get back into the gym. But I'm here to tell y'all that Javante Tank Davis, you know, rejected Floyd Money Mayweather offer, you know, to come back to the gym, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Javante Tank Davis did what a man was supposed to do, stand on all 10 and reject the offer from Floyd Money Mayweather of coming back to the Mayweather gym training her after being kicked out over nothing and I gotta applaud Tank for that. I really gotta applaud Javante Tank Davis for that. That's some real shit, Tank. Now that's why I, what I mean by when it comes to Floyd Mayweather. You think you can do things to people and then you think you can just talk people out of it and say you're sorry every time you do some, you know, some foul stuff, bro. No. You just can't keep getting away with just doing what you want to do, bro, because you think you Floyd Mayweather and you got all the money and you got all the pool. You know what I'm saying? You might be the greatest fighter of all time or you help somebody get to where they get to, you know, because of you. Nah, bro, that ain't the thing. Nah, man, you can't keep doing that, bro. And I'm happy Tank turned you down, bro, because, for you can't keep, you got to be real all the time, not some other time. You got to be real all the time, bro. And somebody like you got what you got, achieved what you got, we would think that you will be real all the time. You know, people always come out there with Floyd Mayweather ain't got a hate on Tank. He got everything more than Tank. He got this over Tank. But the boy can still be a hater. You know what I'm saying? He can still be a hater. Now, Tank about to fight Ryan Garcia, the biggest fight of his career. The biggest fight of his career. Floyd Mayweather knows this. I can't get over that point. Floyd Mayweather knows this, right? And you kick the man up out the gym, and you see Ryan over there getting ready. Ryan in the gym, working his ass off. Him and um, Joe Goosen ain't got to worry about getting kicked out of no gym. Can stay focused on their goal at hand. You understand? Everything you set up in the gym, you can leave things there because when you come back, you know it's still going to be there. You see what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about this, that, and the third. You know what you're working on. You know where you're going. You know what spot you're going to be in. You know the time limit and all this shit. So everything is set up for you. You ain't got to worry about no mishaps or none of that. That's what being comfortable in the gym does for you. You know they're going to have the weight room. You know they're going to have the bags. They're going to have the pads. They got the ring. You know everything. But when you switch gyms, bro, you don't know what that gym got. You don't know how long that gym going to be open. You don't know how long you can use that gym. You don't know what other fighters coming into that gym. You don't know who know about that gym or none of that shit. Right? So Tank had to make that transition. Him and Kevin Ford and them made that transition to another gym, whatever gym they in, right? I tried to see what gym they was working in today, you know, but Calvin didn't want to put it out there. They feel like, oh, man, somebody going to come through and rob us or shoot us or I don't know whatever they was talking about. But the the main thing was we found out that he wasn't in the Mayweather gym no more. He wasn't in the Mayweather gym. They not working in the Mayweather gym. So that just let us know, right, that whatever, Floyd, whatever game Floyd tried to run on Tank, Tank didn't fall for it. You know, Tank didn't fall for it. You feel me? And I salute him for that, bro. I salute him 1,000% for that. Because you get back in that gym, the people go see you and they're like, oh, man, this dude back in the gym, man, that dude just let Floyd say anything and do anything to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, this ain't that type of party, bro. You put me out your gym, because I'm quite sure there's other people in the gym when that shit happened. You know, so you come put me out your gym, I can't use your gym, and all this other word ass shit, like I'm some of these other Rudy Poo ass fighters. Like, I ain't Javante Tank Davis. Like, I ain't a three-division world champion. Like, I ain't a pound-for-pound pound fighter right now. Like, I ain't a future Hall of Famer. Or, like, I ain't fit a, you know, like, I ain't the man. Nah, bro, y'all don't do me like that, partner. Y'all don't do me like that. Yeah, we can sit down and talk about it. Kiki and ha-ha while we at this fight. 
leave out together, take a few pictures together with people looking at us. But after that, we go our separate ways. We go our separate ways. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go do my thing with my camp. You go do your thing with your camp. At the end of the day, you know, we our own man. And I ain't kissing no ass. I ain't trying to be down. I ain't trying to force nothing. I ain't begging you for nothing. You know, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Like I say, Javante Davis is not Adrian Bronner. Javante Davis ain't just fucking his money up. He ain't begging Floyd for no money. He earning his money. He's still a top shot in the game right now doing his thing at 28 years old. You know, with a, with a hell of a career to go still, right? 28, what you got? At least a good six more years. At least a good six more years. It, maybe more than that. Maybe more than that, depending on how you, you know, treat your body. You know what I mean? But they come down to tank how long you want to fight. But he got at least a good six more years to make as much money as he could and be at the top of his game. So he ain't begging for nothing or he ain't hurting, bro. You see how Tank ride? You know what I'm saying? And he got Al Heyman on his side, so you know he A-OK. -okay. The man that helped make Floyd Mayweather a billionaire. Yeah, Al Heyman. Understand that. Then he got Showtime. So come on, bro. Be real. Be real, bro. Like I say, I'm happy Tank rejected the offer because you got to stand on your own 10 like a man when it comes to certain things, especially when you got kids and a woman. Especially when you got kids and a woman, bro. You got to show them that I'm a man. I'm a man, bro, at the end of the day. But Coach Cal say, you know, they talked it out. You know, if certain people go feel certain, a certain way about the situation. You feel me? Like Coach Cal being a little older, he can be more level-headed and say, all right, man. Younger than Floyd, they, they got their little beef going on, got their situation going. I'm rolling with my younger regardless of anything. But I respect Floyd Mayweather for what he did and who he is. He in the game. I understand the game. And they can talk it out as long as it don't get physical or nothing like that. They can handle that and everything can be solved. Then you got some people that look at it like, man, look, fuck Floyd, bro. He did this to you, bro. Man, look, don't go crawling back. Don't go act like you needed him. You know, let his ass apologize and still move on. You know? So it's just how people is nowadays, fam. At the end of the day. Some people going to be okay with it. Some people not going to be okay with it. Some people going to see the silver lining. Some people ain't going to see no lining. You feel me? And I'm at the point where I, I'm just a cat that be like, look, I see the bullshit and the foul shit. That's just me. And if somebody treat me like that, I'm just giving you my opinion. If somebody did me like that, um, ain't no going back. Ain't no going back. Yeah, we can be cordial the way we got respect for one another. But once you pull a stunt like that, bro, you ain't never got to worry about me coming back there or trying to beg or none of that shit. I just move on to the next and, and treat it like that. That's your place of business. You got the right to let anybody in that you want to let in and put out who you want to put out for a specific reason. A specific reason. You had no reason to put Javante Tank Davis out the gym. It just shows that you had an ego trip going on and got a power trip. And what you do once, you'll do twice. You understand? What you'll do once, you'll do twice. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, I'm just a goddamn fool. But I won't be getting fooled twice, homie. Now nah, the shame gonna be on you. And you gonna feel that shit. And you gonna know you feel it and you gonna know you was wrong. At the end of the day. But you gonna respect me more of a man when I don't come back into your shit. Or I don't ask you can I come back. And I go do my own thing elsewhere every time I come into Vegas. You feel me? And you wonder why why this kid ain't coming to my gym. That was some time ago, bro. Ain't no beef no more. Why you making like his beef? No, it ain't no beef. It's just the principle. You know, you kick me out your shit, I'm going to stay out your shit. I got other places to go. And that's the place I'm going to go and train with my team. We're going to do our thing. We're going to get them people, you know, high, high, high respect for letting me train at their gym. I'm going to salute them. I'm going to pay them. And I'm going to keep it pushing. But you going to know I fucked up with a real one. You understand? I fucked up with a real one, and I got to hold that L, you know, and, until he feel like he want to, you know, come back into my gym. Or if he never want to do it, that's just the L I got to hold for life. You feel me? The L just ain't for, for a loss. It's it's a, a, a life-learned lesson. You did? A life-learned lesson. Straight like that, man. Shouts out to Tank for standing on all 10, man. Shouts out to Tank for standing on all 10. I salute you, champ.
Until then, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving. Everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. When donate OG Money on Cash App. Trey Hunt to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.